Because here in Utah, these are big mountains that we're skiing on. And, you know, there's quite a bit of different terrain, especially at different, uh, you know, ability levels. On a winter day in Utah, you can bet many will hit the slope. After all, we do have the greatest snow on Earth. But to navigate it, well, you need a map. So it's really important and helpful to have the map out there to kind of chart out your course and make sure everybody knows where they're going. And your ability to get down any mountain in Utah, or pretty much anywhere else, is thanks to one man. You know, James's artwork is just a staple of the industry. It's super well known across the country. I, I feel very special to be uh, and, and honored to, to have so many areas trust me and portraying their mountain. Meet James Nahus. While you might not know him, if you've ever looked at a trail map, you know his work. And and I really paint these, not for the resort, but for the skier. And it all started when he asked a former illustrator if they needed help. Come to find out, they were actually looking for a replacement. I had the job, and all of a sudden I had a career. For the last 35 years, James has painted and sketched over 1,200 maps. So how does he start? Well, I'll start with a, with an aerial flight. I'll, I'll have, have, get, have gotten a lot of uh, the material from the ski area. Uh, what do they have? Previous trail maps, uh, site plans, uh, future plans. Then he gets to work. This is the whole state of Utah. Starting with a sketch. And so in, in this particular one, of course, I had a really um, a large flight. Then on to paint. Uh, I use uh, watercolor to paint it, and uh, uh, I'll paint the sky with uh, with an airbrush and the all the all the snow features, and then move on into uh, the rocks and the different features and the trees, and uh, end up in the parking lot. I do an awful lot of twisting of the perspectives and uh, for full view on a single sheet of paper. Uh, there's a lot of manipulation. His work is so good and so accurate, people on the slopes often ask, what program do you use to measure out these mountains? Uh, <laughs> I said, well, I, I uh, use my mind. James has now retired from painting ski maps and turned to sketches like this one. He showed me of Rainbow Bridge National Monument. But you can still see his work in person. Some originals right now are on display at Gallery Mar in Park City. These are the one-of-a-kind originals that become those maps. For the first time ever, they're on exhibition, and we're so excited to share them. And even though he doesn't live here, he admits... Utah is my favorite. I really have enjoyed coming to Utah and, and all the people that I've met. It's a special state for me because I have done so many here. And, uh, and I always enjoy coming back here. So with all the effort put into each and every detail, for many, they become more than just a map. They're a memory. I can physically go back and remember you know, the lines I've taken, and it helps you actually remember the days I've had. You know, it just kind of takes you back. And for James, that makes it all worth it. They'll pull out their trail map or something, and it says, oh, I did that. And uh, they'll, they'll just be blown away. Spencer Joseph. I couldn't have thought of another career that would be better uh, for me or for or uh, more uh, rewarding. Fox 13 News, Utah.